This is Paolo Nutini. Um, no other way. HD Yule's New Year's Eve something. Frustration. It gets to me, it gets me where it hurts me most. Like five robbers did a gut, it's not so easy to shake. And I've been gone far, far too long to expect you not to have changed even a little bit. I guess I hope I'm still the kind of guy you're needing for your fool. Cause life's a ball here on the road and need four wheels. Oh, but something about the whole thing that doesn't feel real. Work my days for you. Cause I love you, girl I don't want you I need you And I can't see no other way Darling, now work my days for you Cause I love you, girl I don't want you I need you the way maybe all of this separation will it really get you thinking yeah yeah we talk about we talk about r&b singers you know the style this this slow beat singing and and the style that he brings here is is very much in that idea of R&B singing giving us in like that old rock and roll slow rock jam idea it's it sounds like he's only singing to you right oh it's so it's so nice he's got that really nice rasp in the voice but nothing you know nothing's over pressurized this is very easy singing he get really grounded in the body. He can really maximize that kind of grit in his voice. He's got those teeth showing, right? <laughs> yeah. These the lyrics are incredibly personal. They're very lovely, very very intensely passionate, um, very very touching, very heartfelt, right? Um. Yeah, and he's got the and he can keep it so easy because he's just singing through his teeth, right? If you can learn just to sing through your teeth like this, it's it's a really amazing thing what you can do with your voice. If you can just only sing like this, if you can keep everything like this, play around with that, guys. It's you can you can add so many different colors because you don't need to force the sound out because the sound is gonna basically is gonna feel like it's carrying itself. If you're singing like this, right? Beautiful. And all of those used up cliches, but they've all worn away in the wind. And I wonder if you're half as innocent as you should assure me. Or if you just thank him for his time and just a Never call him back again. Say no. Oh, baby. Cause after all the lights and shows and all the plays, it'll be you and me again. But until then, I'll work my days for you. Cause I love you, girl. I don't want you. I need Nice. 
Yeah. This song is about his on again, off again relationship with his girlfriend of eight years. Yeah. You feel that so much. Even if you've never been in one of those like kind of toxic back and forth on off relationships. When you listen to this, you feel like you have, right? I'm not telling you guys about my dating life. No, no, no. But yeah. Um God, it, it comes out so just from his voice alone. You feel that like grit, that difficulty. And the lyrics are super, super heavy in that sense. But so they're not generic though. They're so descriptive. Is he relaxed with this? Sounds painful. Yeah. So the grit, as he increases in pitch, he's relying more on some false fold closure. Now it's similar to kind of like the thing Steve O does. We watched that Steve O video a while back. Uh, as the pressure on the vocal folds increase, sometimes the voice. Now I've never heard Paolo Nutini in another in any other scenario, but um. If you increase pressure on the voice, one way you can diffuse that pressure is by using the false folds, which adds that ah, ah, ah right? It adds that growl, that grit onto it. Um, that f it's not vocal fry at that point; it's false fold, you know, closure, which adds that grumbliness. So, yeah. Um, it's 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 a way to diffuse pressure in higher pitches that require that kind of pressure, uh, and it's just another way of of making sound. It's it's a muscular thing that once becomes habitual is very difficult to untrain, but you know it works for everything he's doing. This slow jazz rock style, uh, really really nice. This R and B style, which I guess is like kind of jazz rock, jazz rock and roll. Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's not unhealthy. It's it's not inherently unhealthy. It's just not, you know, it's not easy to get out of once you've trained it in. Cause I love you, girl, I don't want you. I need you. Yes. John Fogarty. I hear that too, Hangity. I was thinking that earlier. I was like, who is that? What's the name of that singer I was thinking of? Because you guys know I am so bad about names. John Fogarty. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. I did not know that Daft Punk is done, but they've... They've definitely left their mark. I, I think I don't think they've left anything undone. Yeah, this guy should should get the Nobel Prize for false fold closure. You're not wrong, Spralos, but he would have some rough competition, stiff competition. Woman, I can't see. Give me an idea. I can't see no other way, and I'm home. Joe Cocker, absolutely. So now, as you get into that scream, because false fold closure, you know, requires more muscular tension around the larynx than without it, right? Without false fold closure to get to those pitches in a in a way that would work, you need to use a lot of air, right? And a lot of lack of tension here. Uh, now, as you get up there and you start adding that kind of pressure, it's easier to get into that raspy spot that he just got into. A throwback day. We do a lot of throwbacks, but yeah, a, a dedicated throwback day would be great. And a hug. So take me in your heart. Baby, 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 baby. Touch me like you. This is when you hear that Joe Cocker. Yeah. And touch me like you do. And kiss me like you do. Yep. Mm. Nice. 
nice. Really nice. I mean, it's a beautiful heart, heartfelt bluesy rhythm and blues song. Sung really damn well uh, with some awesome, awesome colors in the voice that he pulls off of at the end, which you know shows you that he knows what he's doing. He's not just singing that way because that's how his voice is. He's worked out how the colors work. You know, those are connected. Those vocal colors are connected to the emotions he's feeling in the song, of course. But he knows what he's doing. Definitely looks a little bit like Jeff Buckley. I totally hear that. I totally see that.